Coming up next, a UFC flyweight division matchup. Well, nice to see this young fighter healthy and making the walk here tonight. His takedowns are just incredible. High amplitude takedowns, great technique, explosion really with every shot, and seemingly no telegraph as well. So even a fighter with good takedown defense, more often than not, is not gonna see this guy's shot coming. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He does not mind standing or going to the ground, and this diversity makes him very unpredictable. Well, the crowd pops as this guy makes the walk to the octagon, and you can see why if you've watched film on him. This is a true mixed martial artist, plus skills in all areas, and figures to be a handful, really, for anybody in this division. Probably comfortable tonight anywhere the fight goes. Truly a well-rounded MMA fighter. You know, we, we, we trot that term out there a lot. This guy fits the bill. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He can do it all. If the fight takes place standing or on the ground, he's gonna be comfortable in all areas of the game. Our tail of the tape for this flyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and some differences in reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Lakewood, Colorado, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of six wins, four losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, lights out. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. So Mario Yamasaki, the veteran, draws go, the opening ready? assignment here. All right, just about ready for live action as we get underway here at Juness Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first round win by knockout, near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. Those strikes can have a bigger effect and it certainly did here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Great angle here. And he's out. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 10 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin! So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward, but you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.
To become a legend in the UFC, a fighter needs someone to push him to be great. McGregor had Diaz, Jones had Cormier, and Silva had Sonnen. Each series didn't just pit the best against the best, but it matched up rivals that had personal scores to settle. And when the octagon door shut, the bad blood reached a boiling point. Who will be the one to step up and put this feud to rest, or give up bragging rights once and for all. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC flyweight division matchup. All right, just about ready to go with this rivalry fight as he makes his way to the octagon, and he has said all during fight week he's got to bottle the emotions and treat this as just another fight. Easier said than done when there is as much venom and bad blood as there is in this matchup. Apparently, he worked tremendously hard on cardio for this camp.
So here he is, the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno, very much a young man and very much a flyweight title contender, an outstanding jiu-jitsu fighter, submitted Lewis Smolka as the biggest underdog on the fight card in his UFC debut back in 2016, and then followed that up with a win over Ryan Benoit to immediately vault into contention. Brazilian jiu-jitsu purple belt has got some pop in his hands as well. We'll see if Brandon Moreno can take his career to the next level with a win here tonight. This guy has devastating choking technique. If he can get a hold of your neck, he can close it off like very few in the world. And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. More than five years apart with the same height and a similar reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Lakewood, Colorado, USA Assassin. And now with the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding professional record of 15 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Brandon, the assassin baby, Marino! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? Well, what a venue this is for MMA. We are underway right here at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. All right, so the rivalry resumes here. Here we go with round one. And let's see who can get off to a good start here tonight. Maybe we'll see a little bit of a feeling out process, but both guys have said, don't worry about my emotions. Once that octagon door closes, I will let my nice liver shot land. You can tell that body shot hurt him bad. Oh, flying knee. All right, so the first round is underway. You know oh, he he's got him hurt here. Nice leg kick. Head kick. Whoa, oh, he got caught. Body kick, look at that. Oh, oh. oh. Back to the feet. There's a nice inside leg kick. Body kick, look at that. And he che he's checking every single one of those. Try to establish Man. that jab. Oh, what a leg kick. He's clearly in pain. He's trying to hang on there, but he is in big trouble. Man. We heard him with that one. Oh, he's getting hit. Well, there's a swing and a miss. His cardio is really abandoning him at this stage of the fight. And sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even further. So, oh! This could be it! Oh, jumping knee! Huge inside leg kick. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. about that shin. Both men landing in that exchange. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he hurt him. He got nailed in the body. He is in big trouble here. Oh, oh. Oh. Unbelievable. Hard straight punch. Looks like his leg is hurt here, Joe. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Big power. Oh! Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Final seconds of the Great one, my And here a big shot lands and a knockdown.
And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Round's over. You took his best shots and smiled back at him. Now it's your turn. We have to go and move. Okay, ready? Round two. Ready? Round two here. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's gonna wanna move and avoid taking damage early. Oh, big left hand! This could be it right here. Oh, big right hand! Huge right hand! Well, as you know, Joe Rogan, you go. Oh! Oh, he's Whoa. out. He's out. He's out! Oh. Excellent timing here to land a huge left for the victory. Yeah, Joe, a near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Let's take a look at that again. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is called to stop to this contest at 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin! All right, so the celebration is on in the corner, and he has certainly earned it after coming through and coming up large in this rivalry fight here tonight. He wanted this one in the worst way, and man, did he seize the spotlight here in this one.
Coming up next, a UFC flyweight division matchup. So here he is, ladies and gentlemen, on the main card for the first time. No more prelims for this guy, and rightfully so, given the winning streak that he has put together. Now the question beckons as the fights get bigger and the opposition gets better and his popularity grows, can the performance dovetail with that type of pressure? There are more eyeballs on him tonight. Bigger audience in the crowd. Can he deliver as he's done so many times in the past? Joe Rogan will find out in a few short minutes. This guy has outstanding control on the ground amongst the best in the world at holding his opponent in the position that he would like to keep him in while utilizing his techniques. Oh, is it great to see this guy make the walk here tonight, really as a complete hard tail of the tape for this flyweight fight. So three years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding the professional record now. No wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Lakewood, Colorado, USA Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of six wins, nine losses. He stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 124 pounds. Fighting at a line in Holland, the Netherlands, Weber. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in hey, the octagon fight, for this ready? one. You ready? Let's go, come on. And there he swung with a haymaker. Kick lands for him there. Good punch. Nice left, left kick to the body. He landed oh. that inside leg kick. Oh! He's out! Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Let's take a look at it again from a different angle. Look at the power in this right hand as it lands. Picture perfect for the knockout. Watch this again here. Boom. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki's called a stop to this contest at 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Assassin. All right, so a nice win for this fighter here tonight. His coaches have always said when the stakes get higher, his performances will get better, and that's exactly the way it played out here tonight. It was his first main card fight. So far, so good as he gets the job done here in this one. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. It's starting to become a welcomed habit for UFC fans. See the name.